Hey everyone, and welcome to Academy of Mind. Today we're going to learn how to create learning paths for your LMS users. A learning path is essentially two or more courses that are grouped together and meant to be taken in succession or at least as a larger program instead of just one course. Learning paths are important for encouraging or requiring users to complete a group of courses back to back as opposed to just an individual course. You can think of learning paths as a larger program consisting of multiple related e-learning courses. For example, let's say to become an electrical journeyman in your state, the board requires 40 hours of approved continuing education training. A learning path could help professionals fulfill these requirements by grouping four 10 hour long courses together that should be taken in a sequence. For example, Introduction to Becoming an Electrical Journeyman 101, 201, 301, and so forth. Using Academy of Mind Learning Paths, your company can award certifications to learners for completing a group of courses and require learners to take multiple courses in a specific order. So, let's get started. To create a learning path, starting in the admin dashboard, go to Courses, Learning Paths, Create Learning Path. After naming our learning path, this is where we're going to select which courses are included inside of it. So yes, you must have at least two courses inside of the system to successfully set up this learning path. We have a bunch of courses available, so we're going to make a learning path with three courses inside of it right now just by clicking over this drop down, clicking, and then selecting the course. And after the first one selected, it prompts me to select the second. I'm going to do this till the third and then exit out of the window right here. Now for this learning path, I wanna make sure my customers successfully complete the first course before moving on to the second and third. And I can do that by toggling on this prerequisite button. So if you don't have prerequisites turned on, then the order of the courses can be used as pretty much a recommended order that students should take their courses in. And if you wanted to reorder any of these courses, you can do that by dragging and dropping. This order also reflects how the courses will be displayed in the student's dashboard when they log in. For instance, the top being the first course and the bottom being the last. Also, since I have the first course as a prerequisite, you can see that I'm not able to start the second or third course until the first one is completed. Before we get too ahead of ourselves though, going back to the admin side, if you wanted to add more courses to the learning path, say let's put four in here instead of three, you could do that here. And if you wanted users to get a certification after completing this learning path, you could do that here. Okay, so the learning path is good. Now let's save it and enroll some users. The first way you could enroll users is by going into Users, All Users, Enroll in a Course, and then enroll them in the whole learning path. And as you can see, all of the courses from the learning path are now on Jason's student dashboard. And if he were to complete all these courses, he would be awarded with the Learning Path Certificate. Any student enrolled in a Learning Path, or at least one course that's included in a Learning Path, will also have the sidebar Learning Path button and section where they can monitor Learning Path progress. If a student purchased a course or was self-enrolled into a course that is included in the Learning Path, they wouldn't automatically be enrolled in all of the other courses that are inside of that same Learning Path, but they would be encouraged and able to see what those courses are under this learning path section. Of course, if a student purchases a course that's associated with the learning path, they will still be enrolled in the learning path the same way that they would in the example where the admin enrolled a user from the back end like I showed you today. If you want to learn more about how you can onboard users and enroll them into courses in bulk in Academy of Mind, I'll put a video on the screen right now. Thanks so much for watching and I hope these learning paths can improve the learning experience for your customers, partners, employees, and anybody else you happen to be training.